a baby has been born at the Rotunda Hospital before an audience of over 180 people. The live broadcast by Caesarean Section was shown to teenage students taking part in a training programme. So there we have it. That's the final episode in this series of So You Want to Be a Dog. I hope by meeting the various healthcare professionals and doctors it helps inform you about making a decision as to whether studying a career in medicine is for you. May I express my gratitude to the Council of the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland for conferring on me the distinction of honorary fellow to join such a renowned group of dedicated professionals in an honorary capacity is a privilege. I have been very moved. RCSI is one of the biggest uh, healthcare universities in the world. We are a specialist uh, university. This is what we do, healthcare. It is my privilege to present to you Miss Nora Casey. I admit you an honorary fellow of the Faculty of Nursing in Midwifery of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. So today what we're going to speak about is enabling leadership because we had those women who were leaders of their time back in 1916 and the issues that greeted them are perhaps very different to ones that are greeting women now. This exhibition tells the history of the 1916 Rising through the personal accounts of surgeons and insurgents that were involved. This exhibition is unique because as you walk around, you actually walk the floors that the insurgents slept and lived in for the week of Easter Rising. What was the best time gap then uh, delivered by an RCSI student? That was Owen over there. Yeah? Um, yeah, he did 302 yesterday. I think a big thing about RCSI is its amazing cultural environment. I think I came here thinking that I was going to teach others about my culture and I think I actually learned more about everyone else and I've become a way better person because of it. the roller coaster five years and finally today it all came together. Just overwhelmed, really excited. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's totally worth it. Today. Yeah. Meet Beyonce. She was born with a joint disorder which caused the cartilage in her knees and the underlying bone to crack. Luckily for Beyonce though, researchers at the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland developed a new multi-layered 3D porous biomaterial called Chondrocol. Several months on, she has made a remarkable full recovery. You are in the most exciting place in your lives, with literally the world at your feet. My one word to describe RCSI is friendship. My one word to describe RCSI is dedication. Today, we're finally graduating, and we've gained a sister as well as a medical degree. Congratulations to the class of 2016 from RCSI. The Ballroom of Romance, it sees 350 senior citizens from across the city come to RCSI and dance the night away. And this year we went all out and got Ronan Collins and the Sugar Cube show band. Great to get back, you know, it's been, it's been a while. So it's just to see people again and some old war stories. Surgeons was a wonderful experience. I came here as a poor child from a poor third world country and I was exposed to a whole new world.
you do some effort, some sacrifices that you, you never thought you were able to do. As a coach, I wouldn't like to have uh, 15 medical students, you know. <laughs> I guess I've, we've seen the game move from being a contact sport to a collision sport. Mm. And now there are an awful lot of injuries that we see. A new study has indicated that minimum unit pricing for alcohol would target high-risk drinkers most. The study by the Royal College of Surgeons says almost half of the heaviest drinkers in Ireland buy cheap alcohol. We all have the potential to be leaders in our lives and in our professions. And as leaders, we must have vision. This time of year is my favourite time of year. It's been a tremendously successful year for RCSI. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for your contribution. I'd also like to wish you and your families a very happy and restful Christmas. I think we can look forward to an exciting year in 2017, and I, for one, am looking forward to working with you on it.